Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. During a September 16th news conference at Kennedy Space Center, a major announcement by NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden about the Commercial Crew Program contract to secure transport for astronauts to and from the International Space Station, effectively putting America back into the business of launching humans to space, ending our sole reliance on Russia by 2017. Boeing and SpaceX have each presented to us designs that will allow us to fly crews to the International Space Station in just a few years. Turning over low Earth orbit transportation to private industry will also allow NASA to focus on an even more ambitious mission, that of sending humans to Mars. Final pre-launch processing of the Boeing CST-100 and the SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft will take place at Florida's Kennedy Space Center, with launches of the vehicles happening at nearby Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. SpaceX CRS-4, the fourth SpaceX cargo mission to the ISS under NASA's Commercial Resupply Services contract, was previewed during a series of press briefings at Kennedy Space Center. A planned September 20th launch of the company's Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon cargo spacecraft from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station will deliver more than 5,000 pounds of scientific experiments and supplies to the ISS, including an ISS Earth Science Experiment and the station's first 3D printer. Astronaut Rick Mastracchio visited the headquarters of NASA commercial partner Orbital Sciences Corporation in Dallas, Virginia on September 15th. In addition to SpaceX, Orbital also conducts cargo missions to the ISS, including the company's first, in January, while Mastracchio was a crew member aboard the orbiting laboratory. While at Orbital, Mastracchio shared some imagery from his time on orbit with employees and thanked them for their work during his mission. The next two crews scheduled for flights to the International Space Station are preparing for those missions. At the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, the Expedition 4142 crew, including NASA's Barry Butch Wilmore, is conducting final training for its scheduled launch to the station on September 25th, Eastern Time. Meanwhile, the follow-on crew headed to the ISS, which features NASA astronaut Terry Virts, previewed its mission during a news conference at Johnson Space Center. Expedition 4243 will launch to the station in late November. The September 21st arrival at Mars of NASA's Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution, or MAVEN spacecraft, is a major mission milestone known as orbital insertion. Once situated into its planned elliptical orbit around the red planet, MAVEN, the first spacecraft dedicated to exploring the upper atmosphere of Mars, will begin a one-year primary mission to investigate how the loss of atmospheric gases impacted the Martian climate through time. The lander for the European Space Agency's Rosetta mission to Comet 67P Churyumov Gerasimenko now has a primary landing site. The lander, named Philae, will target Site J, an intriguing region on the comet that offers unique scientific potential and minimum risk to the lander compared to the other candidate sites. Philae is scheduled to land on November 11th to begin scientific study of the comet's nucleus. The mission is spearheaded by the European Space Agency with support and instruments provided by NASA. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov twan.